Getting started with cytoskeleton small g protein activation assays. Small g protein activation assays are a critical part of scientific studies across a broad range of scientific fields. As a leader in the field of small g protein activation assays for 15 years, Cytoskeleton is here to help you decide which small g protein activation assay is right for your application or project. Small g proteins act as molecular switches to regulate many different cellular functions. GTPases are active when bound to GTP and inactive when bound to GDP. Small g protein activation assays measure the GTP bound form of the protein from a cell or tissue extract. Cytoskeleton offers activation assays for Rho and RAS GTPase family members in two formats, the traditional pull-down assay and an ELISA-based assay called a GLISA or GTPase-linked immunosorbent assay. Each format works well with cell or tissue lysates. Both the traditional pull-down and GLISA small g protein activation assays work by the same principle. An effector protein specifically recognizes and binds the active form of the respective GTPase for quantification. The GLISAs use a 96-well plate that has been coated with an effector protein to selectively bind the active GTPase and lysates, followed by quantitation with enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay techniques. The pull-downs utilize affinity beads linked to an effector protein that selectively binds the active GTPase and lysates, which is then analyzed and quantitated by SDS Page and Western Blotting. Both assays are easy to use with distinct advantages for each. Which activation assay is right for your cell or tissue lysate samples? Important considerations include the amount of available lysate, the number of samples or conditions to test, the time available for the assay, the need for quantitative results, equipment, and of course, value. Pulldowns require 1 to 2 milligrams of sample, take 10 to 12 hours to complete, and provide semi-quantitative results. In contrast, GLISAs require 10 to 50 micrograms of sample, take three hours to complete, and provide quantitative results. Pulldowns are also limited by the sample number processed at one time, basically five to seven samples in duplicate per gel, whereas GLISAs can handle up to 48 samples in duplicate per 96-well plate. GLISAs offer the best cost per assay and include all of the reagents needed for the assay, including secondary antibody and chemiluminescence reagents. Cytoskeleton offers pull-down and GLISA small g protein activation assays for Rho, RAC, CDC42, RAS, RAL, and ARF GTPases. Cytoskeleton's small g protein activation assays are a trusted and essential research tool, as demonstrated by the hundreds of citations and uses in diverse scientific fields, including neuroscience, oncology, cardiology, and immunology. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at cserve at cytoskeleton.com or tservice at cytoskeleton.com.